As expected, not a ticket left, ladies and gentlemen. We are sold out at the Grand Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. Time for our tale of the tape. Sergio Martinez. He's five foot ten inches tall with a 72.8 inch reach. And he'll be facing one of the best to ever do it, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. They call him the Marvel, Sergio Martinez. He's the former unified middleweight champion of the world and a future Hall of Famer. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. Well, Johnny, I agree with you, but this is boxing, as you know, and anything can happen. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, here is a unified and sensational middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sergio Maravilla Martinez. Fighting out of the blue corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. All right. This is the fight of pride. Win. This is two want warriors to that want to get in there all time. and beat the hell out of each other. This is obey. that fight. Good luck. And Many five. said this fight would never happen, and yet here it is, and here we go. Oh, and he caught him with the left hook. Caught him with an uppercut. <laughs> Fighters love being in this venue as the audience is right on top of you, and they will be bringing the heat tonight. They are ready to watch this showdown. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement. Every single twitch, if you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. That one lands. Perfect punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Which one of these athletes is gonna say I can't take it anymore? He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Just when you think they're gonna have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. And there he caught him with a stiff jab. We'll keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's 
willing to take three to get one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl. Nice punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Maravilla in some trouble here. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. On to the second round. Good left hand. He takes that jab. No rest for the weary. Good right hand. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Missed him with that uppercut. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. And he misses with the left uppercut. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. And he caught him with a left hook. He threw the hook, didn't land. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Good punch. And there's
fires an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like this. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left punch. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this could be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Caught him with that power punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And with a heavy shot, and you can see his legs are gone. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Back at it in round four. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Look at that left uppercut. Not a lot of defense here at all. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what. Oh, he got clipped. He got clipped, and this what a shot that put him down. Will he make it back to his feet? One, two, three, four. He misses with that jab. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Can he finish the job? And that may just do it. He is not moving. What a shot that put him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, you're out.
It happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I mean, out, out.